What's up everyone? China Cycling here. Today we're taking a quick look at this car roof bike rack from Racine. The rack uses super strong vacuum mounts which are basically suction cups on steroids and attaches to the roof of your car which means installation is pretty fast and ultra versatile. Let's take a look. So far as I can tell, this style of suction cup based roof rack was originally popularized by Seasucker for carrying surfboards, but the idea translates well to carrying bikes. The Seasucker racks are pretty expensive for what is essentially just a large piece of aluminium and some suction cups, which gave rise to a bunch of copycat products from the likes of Rock Brothers, Green Tree Frog, and the one I have here, Racine. I actually got given this rack by my team last year as Racine were one of the title sponsors of our team, CCN Racine. But I have no other affiliation with the company and they don't even know I'm making this video. As I mentioned in the intro, the unit attaches to your car through the use of these vacuum mounts. The first time you see these racks you can't possibly imagine trusting your prized bike to the power of suction. but. Then you start to watch some videos and see some photos of just how strong these suction cups are and start to feel convinced. Last year some of our team went to the Racine headquarters and spent the afternoon goofing around trying to push the racks past the limits, but to no avail. Nevertheless, watching videos is one thing, but putting your own pride and joy on top of your car is something totally different and the first few kilometers driving, you spend more time looking up at the rack than you do looking at the road ahead. But after a few kilometers and pulling over to the side of the road a few times to check everything, your confidence starts to increase and you gradually forget about it and just start driving normally. Best not to totally forget about it though. Remember, your car is now over a meter taller than before and a low bridge or a garage door is going to be a very expensive reminder. Now, you may be thinking that when your $5,000 bike is at stake, why would you trust some Chinese brand you've never heard of? Well, you can look at who else trusts Racine. The UCI World Tour Race, the Tour of Guangxi, has Racine as a sponsor, providing racks to all the teams. These team cars are carrying a lot of equipment and are subject to a lot of abuse using the same suction cups as this unit I have here. Team Sky Rider Mikael Lander was so impressed with the racks, he bought one there and then, totally unsponsored, to take home for use himself in Spain. Now, I'm not saying they're perfect, I'm sure there are horror stories out there, but interestingly enough, even intentionally googling for examples of them failing will only result in just a few results of failures by various brands of this style of rack. Which, if you consider the vastness of the internet, finding only a few examples is pretty amazing. Just remember, the consequences for failure are possibly the loss of your bike, damage to your car, or even damaging cars behind you. Due to the redundancy built into the design by having four suction cups on the front, the odds of them all failing are super, super low. But nobody's going to help you pay for damages or accept liability if there is a failure, including me. If your car can take a traditional bolted on roof rack, the odds of failure there are a lot, lot lower. But if your car has no roof rack option, if you're hiring a car or if you're just using a friend's car for a one-off trip or whatever, then the suction cup solution is just a lot more convenient. The rack comes in its own little carrying case and installing the rack is fairly straightforward. Obviously, make sure the car and the cups are both clean. My car is always filthy, so I'll take a wet rag and wipe down the mounting surfaces first. Racine provides some lube to use on the suction cup surface, but I'll admit to rarely using it. 
I even attached the rack to my glass sunroof with no issues. Just don't accidentally open the sunroof when you're driving. After positioning the front rack, pump the vacuum pumps until you can no longer see the white markings. Then, remove your front wheel and use the quick release to attach the front fork to the rack. This step was a lot easier with my 4.9 kilogram 46 centimeter climbing bike than it was with Marx's 58 centimeter tank. Next time, I think I'll do the camera work and he can do the heavy lifting. Naturally, attaching the front fork is going to be a bit more complicated if you're using through axles, but most brands have a solution. My rack came with a through axle compatible mount, but I'm just using the standard quick release option. With the front of the bike in place, attach the rear wheel mount to the car and strap down the rear wheel. Done. Now, you just need to find somewhere for your front wheels. Racine also offer a rack to hold your wheels, which you can attach on your rear windscreen or wherever, but I just throw mine in the back of my car. I'd say one other disadvantage of this style of rack to consider is potential theft. There's no way to lock your bike to the rack, and even if there was, any thief could just steal the rack with the bike still attached, as the vacuum mounts just peel off the car in seconds. However, this style of rack is fairly rare, so your average thief probably would have no idea that the rack was removable. But it's still something to consider. When you've transported your bike to where you're going to be riding, you can take off the rack and lock it in your car for security. Well, what do you guys think? Are any of you guys already using vacuum mount bike racks? Would you ever consider trusting your pride and joy to one? For me, I don't think they're an everyday solution, but they definitely open up a whole world of convenience. And with the lower price of the Racine racks, there's not a huge barrier to entry either. I've left a link to this Racine rack in the description below. Let me know in the comments what your experience with the bike racks is. And if you learned something today, why not help me out by giving this video a like. That's all for today. I look forward to seeing you next time. China Cycling, out.